In other words, I do not need a degree to become a software engineer. Absolutely not. Absolutely. Oh my not. God. Absolutely so, not. Oh my God. Okay, now I know many of the the people who are watching and those who are going to watch this will say, okay, um, how do I get the boot camp? Because because of the COVID now, there might not be a physical boot camp, so everything can be done online. So yeah. whether you're in America, Nigeria, you can become a software engineer and then come into the country and get a better job. Yes. So. Is there any boot camp that you can... I mean, you might not be able to recommend one now, but you'll be able to like, send me, then I can put it in the description box. Yeah, absolutely. You know? I'll do that. I'll do that. There, in fact, as you're speaking, one just came to my mind now. There's, uh, there's a... What was it called again? Let me just check. Yeah, there's this uh, company um, which forms a lot of uh, startup called Y Combinator. They're quite big in the US. So White Combinator. They're... White Comp. No, why, why combinator? Why, like letter, letter Y. Why combinator? Okay. Yeah. Right. So they formed a lot of startups and so on and so on. Now they've partnered with a school. I think they actually partnered, or maybe they set up. They funded this uh, this idea called uh, Strive School. Okay. Strive School. So if you go to Strive Strive Go School, I'm looking at Strive my laptop here as I'm, as I'm speaking to you, so I get the right domain. Yes, yeah, okay. Strive dot School. Now, okay. what they do. They teach you how to code, right? Wow. And they teach you how to code for free. Okay. Now wow. the contract is you don't have to pay them anything until you get a job. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> just, just imagine, just imagine going to a restaurant and say, and the and the waiter say to you, anything you want to order, order. We're gonna give you, we're gonna serve you, eat as much as you want, and only pay us if you like the food. <laughs> so these guys, they teach you what you need to know about programming they teach you okay. like it's a hardcore boot camp man a really hard okay. program, and it's good and you don't have to pay them anything because a lot of a lot, a lot of times what puts a lot of people back is the amount that this boot camp charges because boot camp sometimes lasts for like a week or some two weeks or a month or three months as the case may be and it costs quite a lot of money right okay. because they know it's something that wants you wants you um uh, go through the process successfully you are most likely guaranteed to have a job okay. you're most like almost I, I don't want to say 100 percent guarantee but you are going to get a job definitely wow. because the 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 demand for uh, uh for the people with these skill sets in this industry today is off the chat it's just off the chat literally you know oh literally there's no day that I don't get like 20 emails. I'm not exaggerating. No, I don't get like 20 emails from recruiters chasing me from LinkedIn and so on and so on, you know, pitching different ideas and things like that. You know, it's just a lot. So there's a huge demand and that's a good thing. That's a good thing. If you want to go into any industry, look for the demand. Is there a demand and what is the projection? COVID has taught everyone now that the, the, there's, a, there's a possibility of uh, executing business, of conducting your business remotely, right? Mm -hmm. So companies who are not uh, equipped for that pre-COVID are looking for ways now to build those sort of systems. Who do you think, where do you think they're going to go? They'll start coming to, they start looking for contractors or developers or agencies and so on, you know? That's so it. the demand yeah. is just going to keep rising. Oh my God. You use two words now, demand and having like a foresight of where you're going. Very important. Very, very important. Because with the way the world is going, there are some jobs that are going to become obsolete very soon. In fact, That's not different. very soon. It's all gone. Because mm -hmm. I did a video where I did a research. About 600,000 people in the hospitality industry lost their job in UK. 600,000. So wow, both terrible. the airline, the, the, you know, the hotels, everyone gone. But not today. Let's go to the next one. What practical steps can someone take? To become a software engineer or programmer, you've already said bootcamp. You, you're it. giving us, you're giving us so many things already. Yeah, you can start. You can start with bootcamp. We just tried school, or oh, there, there are many bootcamps, but yeah. I would recommend Stripe because my Combinator is a good company. Uh, another okay. one, you can start on YouTube as well. There are lots okay. of free videos on YouTube to teach you any YouTube. sort of programming languages you want to learn, and hmm. uh, you can buy books on Amazon or anywhere you get your uh, your books from. And just start reading. You know, knowledge is power in this industry, right? Knowledge is power. And the 
Uh, the industry is so dynamic that what you know yesterday might become obsolete when you wake up this morning, you know, because there are new things, there are new technologies being invented. So you just need to keep getting knowledge, keep getting knowledge as much as possible. Wow. I've got some questions here, but I'm not going to ask that yet. Like CK Media has asked the question. I'm going to ask the question. I'm going to ask those questions as we'll get as we're getting now. But one of that question.